Here's a quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Telefero. If my memory serves me correctly, right around March of 2014-ish, because I was on spring break at the time in college, I believe Empire was at the end of season one. The finale was showing this new show on Fox created by Lee Daniels with star characters Cookie Lions and Lucius Lions played by the legends Taraji P. Hinton and Terrence Howard. This show was at its peak. It was amazing, the fandom. We wanted to see the next episode of this black soap opera that was gaining national attention and big time ratings for Fox. Right around that time frame though, we had a new show come around. It was on Stars. it was called Power, and it was kind of created by 50 Cent. He had a big hand in it with a couple other people. It was this new show on the block that you had to pay to see. Obviously, the storylines had a lot of more sexual entries. You could do more things because it was on pay-per-view. So right as we saw Empire hit his peak, Power was coming in, and 50 Cent went hard to promote this Power show. And a couple years down the line, my friends were telling me that Power was the show that they was watching, and it was OV for Empire. Now, Taraji P. Henson, though I'm sure she's for all black creators, she felt like in the midst of 50 Cent promoting Power, he tried to tear down her and the Empire show in the same light, and she didn't like it. She was recently on T.I.'s podcast, Expeditiously, and she gave her honest thoughts on what she thought about 50 Cent, as she believes he tried to tear her career down. Here's what she told Clifford Harris. She said, our show has nothing to do with his show. We're talking two different subject matters. Then again, 50, do you know what the F I had to do to get here? Why tear down another black person for competition? There are a million other shows you can compete with to do that publicly. It's embarrassing. Taraji went on and said a couple of things about 50 Cent. Pretty much she's saying, yo, 50, why did you choose the other popping black show in the market to tear down? Why couldn't you tear down one of these white shows or all these other shows on TV? Why would you compete with such a rare show in the market that had all black creators on it, black actors, producers, created by a black man? Why would you pick that show? Well, the petty uh, man himself, 50 Cent, did respond to Taraji P. Henson on T.I.'s podcast. And if 50's gonna respond, you know he's gonna do it in petty fashion. Here's what 50 said in response to Taraji. I saw Taraji on T.I.'s podcast. This is my sincere apology. I did not mean to hurt your feelings in any way. I love your work and I think you are amazing. I'm sorry no one is watching your show anymore. I realize I have to work on the fact that I have less empathy than others. I have met with the top executives at Fox and sold them the Notorious Cop. It's the show that is replacing yours. He's so petty. This nigga King Petty, man. But I really want to work with you. I mean, you're awesome. We would work well together. But if you don't like the idea, I understand. If you don't roll with me, you're going to get rolled the fuck over ABC for life. February 11th. So this petty nigga disses to Roger P. Hinton again and then offers her a job in the process. Ain't nothing like 50 Cent. It's a quick news break with George truly Mr. Telefero as 50 Cent and Taraji P. Henson clearly are not on the same page right now. Let me know what you think about it in the comment box below. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.